bullshit. <laughs> it's just keep getting worse and worse and worse. First, no one knows what a woman is, right? A woman is anyone who believes that they is a woman. That's, that's, that's that woke-ass bullshit definition. We know what a woman is, bro. <laughs> right? We all know what a woman is. <laughs> if you ain't got no... You ain't a woman. But, bro, they've literally redefined what, what a woman is. Or at least they're attempting to. It didn't, it didn't work this time. Like, folks bucked and they reneged on their attempt to redefine stuff. But apparently, John Hopkins pulls lesbian definition after uproar over use of non-men instead of women. The university's online glossary of LGBTQ terms. Why you need a glossary of LG? What else? The university's online glossary of LGBTQ terms and identities define the word lesbian as a non-man attracted to non-men before it was taken down. Fortunately... That was taken down, man. But the fact that there was an attempt to literally re redefine what a woman is or just take the definition of what a woman is away. Nine man. Y'all can't have nothing. <laughs> Y'all can't have nothing. Lesbian or woman, they like women. Nah, nah, that ain't, that ain't it. That ain't it because it's not inclusive and it doesn't include the non-binary muggers. So the, the, the muggers would with dick and balls that identify as women. They can be lesbians. Nah, I'm up. that means you're straight. You're a heterosexual, dog. And that that top, that goes into a whole different uh, conversation, too. I always question, like, what their sexuality would be, right? But like, that's so confusing. It's so confusing, bro. Like, you a man, but you identify as a woman, and you like women. So since you identify as a woman, that makes you a lesbian? No, I don't live in that world. Reality, bro, if you got dick and balls and you like women, you a heterosexual. So, you know, by that by that definition, by that rationale, that shit don't fly either. That means your transsexual ass still intact can get your girl pregnant. You ain't a lesbian. You're a, you're, you are a heterosexual male. <laughs> but that's crazy, dog. That's crazy, bro. John Hopkins University removed an online glossary of LGBTQ terms and identities this week after its definition of the word lesbian used the term non-men to refer to women and some non-binary people, and it pissed everybody off. Screenshots of the glossary before it was taken down show that the university defined the word lesbian as a non-man attracted to non-men. It added that while past definitions have referred to lesbians as women who are sexually attracted to other women, the updated definition is intended to include everybody. So y'all gonna read y'all gonna try to redefine what a man is too? You see, you see that though? You see that though? How like it's it's it, it is. It's like <laughs> It's like misogyny, bro. You don't see them doing that shit to us. We don't play that shit. <laughs> we don't play that shit. But I'm glad y'all clap back and handle that shit. But it's it's crazy that we like you don't see none of this shit causing uproars on the men side. Even though there are trans men out here. But, you know, they'll get folded trying to damn claim to be a man and try to redefine what a man is. That's crazy that y'all, that I ain't gonna say y'all. I'm not gonna, I ain't gonna say y'all because there's plenty of us out here on the front line fighting against this bullshit man but it's crazy that it's gotten this far bro like i say it's a revolution coming bro it's a revolution coming dog like y'all y'all playing to first first is california trying to goddamn take kids away from parents who don't affirm they crazy ass kids identities right now we literally redefining what a woman is dog like, <laughs> it's a clown world, bro. Literally a clown world, dog. Like, like what, what, what did y'all think that was going to do? But, I mean, it's kind of crazy to say that, bro, because this fool's out here doing crazy stuff left and right all, all the time. So, nothing should surprise me. But the fact that they literally tried to redefine what a woman is in the dictionary is beyond me. At some John Hopkins University, fuck, bro. Fuck, like, I want to see the clapback, like, what happened? I want to see, like, people's responses. Screenshots of the glossary sparked an online firestorm in recent days with many women, including lesbians, calling the definition misogynistic and noting that the definition for gay man did not use similar language such as non-women. Bam, I literally just said this shit. Lesbian was literally the only word in the English language that is not tied to a man, as in male. Female, man, woman, tennis star Martina 
Navratilova, who was a lesbian, tweeted Monday, and now lesbians are nine men. What the WTF? J.K. Rowling, who has widely been accused of being transphobic. That's um the Harry Potter's author, right? J.K. Rowling's who has widely been accused of being transphobic for years, also chimed in on the matter, tweeting to her 14 million followers. Man, no definition needed. Non-man, formerly known as a woman, a being definable only by a reference to the male, she wrote on Twitter. An absence, a vacuum where there's where there's no manness. Bro, I, like for real, bro. I don't like calling shit misogynistic, but like you literally are saying women ain't shit. You're literally providing the definition of woman and, and lesbian by its relation to a man, non-man, which, like, which means women mean nothing because you're allowing men that space. We're fucking retarded. And on Wednesday, Nikki Haley, a Republican 2024 presidential contender and a former U.S. ambassador to the U.N., called the glossary definition infuriating weeks after she suggested that, tran that transgender girls in sports are leading to suicidal ideation in teenage girls. I didn't know that. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me, but that, that's crazy. This war on women has to stop. Facts. It's definitely a war on women. <laughs> I'm trying to mop the floor with y'all, bro. Uh, I mean, you see the real, like, feminist should be standing up right now, bro, because, you know, I don't want to only change. I want to shift the direction of this video, man. But, like, feminism today is poison. The third wave feminism shit, but, like, the, the real type of feminism where you out here fighting for fucking women's rights, it hasn't been a time in a long time where it's been more needed than it is today, where you're literally fighting for the right for women to exist today because we've allowed this bullshit ass non-binary nonsense to take precedent over everything, which is what the whole non-binary gender spectrum is bullshit too. I'm, I'm going to do a video on that. Like it, it is making things worse, making things worse. Like, it, it makes no sense. And we're, and we're doing this to accommodate feelings when you're literally eradicating what it is to be a woman. Gender has nothing to do with what it is to be a woman because you can be all types of different women. You can be masculine, you can be feminine. But at the end of the day, you're still a woman, but y'all conflating these types of ways to be with a gender. When gender got nothing to do with that. You can be a feminine-ass man, you can be a masculine-ass woman. You're still a woman, you're still a man. But we're going we're gonna to get into that another day.